Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for fun with distress oxides, where a bunch of us use different techniques for distress oxides. Okay, so in the beginning, you saw that I used the word fall or words of fall from Make Paper Art. And I stated in one of my other videos that I just posted last week for my traveler's notebook that I was going to do another process video with another one of the words. And I did. This is it. As you're watching me color, what I did was I did some dry like brush strokes and then I spray it. And then I go back in and I get it all spread out so that it's all over the page. Because I am in a traveler's notebook that has mixed media paper, which I get my mixed media paper uh, traveler's notebooks from Beth Solar over at Rock Your Notebook. And I'll link everything down below. And this particular color that I am using right here is called, I got them right here, it's called Stormy Sky. And that's the only time I use it. I went and did a very light one at first, and then I came around and used my blending tool to give a very dark color on the outside. And then once you see how I put everything down on this mixed media paper, you will see that it turns out wonderfully. Right now it looks very bold, but it tones completely down once you see everything else I do. This particular layout will not have a photo. I decided to use the word hoodies and explain in my traveler's notebook why I like the word hoodies and why it really talks to me during the fall and that kind of stuff. This particular stamp set is from Close to My Heart. It is the stamp of the month that will be available from November 1st through November 30th. Just message down below or comment down below if you would like to learn more about that. To get to the other ladies, this is going to be a mouthful. So as you're watching this, I am going to spit out who all of us are doing this on a four-week basis. So this is week two. So Tisa, Dolly, Laura, Sandy, Kathy, and myself are all doing Distress Oxides on Thursdays for the next four weeks. So this is week number two for all of us. That was a mouthful. But make sure that you go like and subscribe to everybody. Comment down below on all of ours and give us some love on doing some different techniques. And I hope that you guys do find some more inspiration on how to use these. I got out two of my fall type stencils from Cartabella. They were part of the Hello Fall collection from last, last year. And I wanted to place them down just a tad bit differently in just different little sections. And I do put the trees down, and here I go. I t put in the word hoodies, and I get that put down, and that's going to be my title. It's called hoodies. And it's just a little bit on explaining why I like it and all that kind of stuff. You'll start to see what I do. Here I am. I just take another stamp set from that collection, and I'm just placing another little stamps here and there. Now I got out the modeling paste. I'm telling you, I'm giving you all different types of ideas here at this point. And you will see what I do. You t if you take a spatula and just rub against the red or any distressed oxide that you use, you can get a good amount of pigment onto there. And I just scraped it, and it turned it into like this peachy, reddish, fallish type color. And I love it. And I'm just using the iridescent from Vicky Booten. And that's what I use on my stamp set, again, for the leaves and stuff. I just kind of go around and see where I like it. And I like the iridescent look of it, and it turns out wonderfully. And I didn't use that much. It was just a little bit, but enough to get what I wanted. All right, now I let it dry, and here I go again. Now I take the other two colors, which is Carved Pumpkin and Barn Door, and I take two more stamp sets. Some, one of them is three leaves. The other one is like a little circle, and I just place these all around just to add to it. Off camera, I do add all of my journaling and all of that stuff. You will see, them, see it in the still shots as well. 
pretty much this is what it looks like. I do dig out my click kit. I went and joined Hannah's um, class that the click kits put together with her. And this was the new Simple Stories collection that I pulled out, out of my stash. I, I don't even know if you want to call it my stash, considering that it's brand new for this year. But I pulled it out, and that's I wanted to emulate what I did uh, in the previous one to this one now for the Traveler's Notebook insert um, for the pages. And I go around and I pull all of the different type leaves and I just add different little things on there. Some of them are the stickers, some of them are the embellishments, some of them are the wood chip pieces. And I just go around and I really enjoy how this looks. I just took different little fall type sayings and I just placed them down in certain little areas. And I get them all tucked and kind of put together and then I do some sequence mixes and this sequence mix is the exclusive to this particular kit that the click kits put together with Hannah. I was trying to get really I was really really trying hard to get that sweater to go on there but it just didn't fit right but the word hoodies was enough for me. And I just place all these little different things down and around and I just try to place this one. This one has a coffee cup with pumpkin spice on it. Of course, got to add that. That's totally me and total fall for me. And I get one more. I think I do one more. Yep, I do one more down here in the corner. And you'll see what I do there. I add a little bit of flowers and I place them down. And it's just, I love how the trees look. I just love this layout. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this insert. I love the fact that there's absolutely no photo on here and we're just talking about the word. Of course, you got to do um, splatters. And I do come back with sequence mixes. You will see that. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Make sure you go check out everybody that's on the list. It'll be all linked down below. I will also have all the links to all of the products that I used as well, as long as it's not like a class or something that you have to take, because I know some of the classes that I have used the products from, they it's sold out, so they don't have any more left, and that's this kit. But you can get this kit on the web, you know, on Cherry on Top or whatever too. So here I am, I'm just placing the sequence down. The still shots are coming up. My code for Make Paper Art is in the still shots as, as well, which it'll be all linked down below too, along with everybody else's links to this um, hop for the next four weeks. We're on week two, so we got two more weeks, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!